The veteran actor Kathleen Turner has revealed details about Donald Trump's gross handshake technique in an interview in which she also criticized the sexism in Hollywood that made her a sexual target at the beginning of her career. Speaking to New York Magazine, Turner described how Trump he goes to shake your hand and, with his index finger, kind of rubs the inside of your wrist, she said. He's trying to do some kind of seductive intimacy move. You pull your hand away and go yuck. She also disclosed how she became the subject of prurient interest from some of Hollywood's best-known actors in the early 80s, after her career-making performance in the 1981 erotic noir Body Heat. After that, I was a sexual target. I understood later, from Michael Douglas, that there was a competition between him and Jack Nicholson and Warren Beatty about who would get me first. None of them did, by the by. There was an unspoken assumption that women were property to be claimed. Describing herself as bucking angry Turner also condemned difficult and disruptive behavior by male actors, which she claimed they got away with because of sexist double standards in the industry. She said Bert Retnolf was terrible on the set of the 1988 comedy Switching Channels, he said something about not taking second place to a woman. His behavior was shocking. That never occurred to me that I wasn't someone's equal. I left the room sobbing. Nicholas Cage was very difficult to work with on the Francis Ford Coppola film Peggy Sue Got Married, Turner said, adding that an unnamed male actor bit her during a stage production. She criticized the indulgence shown towards Robert Downey Jr. during his 1990s substance abuse troubles, comparing the treatment he received with hers when she was struggling with rheumatoid arthritis during the same period. Someone like him could show up on set and be drunk or misbehave in some way but he would still get hired because producers figured they could control that kind of behavior, she said. But if you say, I have a mysterious illness and I don't know if I'll be able to walk tomorrow, you're not getting hired. Advertisement As for her reputation for being difficult, Turner said, the difficult thing was pure gender crap. If a man comes on set and says, here's how I see this being done, people go, he's decisive. If a woman does it, they say, oh, Fuck. There she goes. Since you're here. We have a small favor to ask. More people are reading The Guardian than ever but advertising revenues across the media are falling fast. And unlike many news organizations, we haven't put up a paywall, we want to keep our journalism as open as we can. So you can see why we need to ask for your help. The Guardian's independent, investigative journalism takes a lot of time, money and hard work to produce. But we do it because we believe our perspective matters, because it might well be your perspective, too. The Guardian is editorially independent, meaning we set our own agenda. Our journalism is free from commercial bias and not influenced by billionaire owners, politicians or shareholders. No one edits our editor. No one steers our opinion. This is important because it enables us to give a voice to the voiceless, challenge the powerful and hold them to account. It's what makes us different to so many others in the media, at a time when factual, honest reporting is critical. If everyone who reads our reporting, who likes it, helps to support it, our future would be much more secure. For as little as $1, you can support The Guardian, and it only takes a minute. Thank you.